Hi, Susie. How are you? Hi, Brian and Sarah. We just got back from the pediatrician. Billy had his 11-year well visit and got his vaccines. How did that go? Great. I got some interesting information about cancer prevention. What was that? Our Lucy is turning 11 next month and has a well visit scheduled with her pediatrician. Did you know that the human papillomavirus, or HPV, causes cancers in both boys and girls? Look at these numbers. HPV causes 11,000 cases of cervical cancer annually in the United States, even with screening. It also causes 14,000 cases of oropharyngeal cancer. That's cancer in the mouth and back of the throat every year, too. And that's not all. HPV also causes anal, vulvar, and vaginal cancers. We talked with our pediatrician at our daughter's 11-year well visit. He said that the HPV vaccine can prevent more than 90% of the cancers caused by HPV. Yes. Even with excellent screening, there are still about 4,000 deaths from cervical cancer each year. Screening is not enough. Screening is important because it can detect cancer early, when it is most treatable. But not all cancers have screening tests. HPV vaccination is the best prevention for HPV-related cancers. Our pediatrician also said that oropharyngeal cancer is now the most common HPV-associated cancer in the United States. Over 70% of oropharyngeal cancers are caused by HPV. Did Billy get his HPV vaccine today? Absolutely. I want to do all I can to help protect him from HPV-associated cancers. Our daughter also got her first HPV vaccine at her 11-year well visit. We need to talk to Lucy's pediatrician about the HPV vaccine to help protect her from HPV-associated cancers. 35,900 people, both male and female, are estimated to be diagnosed with cancer caused by HPV every year in the United States. Two doses of HPV vaccine, starting at age 11 or 12, can protect your child from over 90% of HPV cancers. HPV vaccine is cancer prevention.